to the UN Human Rights Council and the Commission of Inquiry on the Human Rights Situation in Eritrea. Many of us gathered here today live in Germany, Italy, Holland, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Switzerland, and many more faraway countries from the one place that we consider our home. Although we, the, di the diaspora youth, would rather not acknowledge the COI report's baseless lie and its politically motivated agenda towards this beautiful nation that is our home, be that as it may, we would like to use this platform today to give you a small glimpse into the truth of this inconceivably extraordinary land that the Western powers, for some reason, refuses to see. We want to tell you about the, re the resilience that many nations can't comprehend, our sense of patriotism, which magnitude is beyond your imagination, and the respect and pride that we hold for our past struggles and history that you would have to learn about in order to understand. The report presented by the COI is demonizing and is written under the false pretext of human rights, a politicized migration issue with a hidden agenda and a dreadfully biased methodology of scrutiny. You say we don't uphold the basic rights of our people, that we don't practice the law of human rights. This, more than anything else, is astonishing. The UN, who continuously make it their effort to put barriers that enables us to move forward, you are the very same entity who openly handed us over to be under the rule of your allies so that your needs could be fulfilled. Six decades later, you are still not practicing the basic human rights that you are supposed to uphold and represent in every corner of the world. You hold the key to many of the problems that we have today, but yet you refuse to acknowledge this fact. Our prolonged military service that we more than anybody would like to have had come to an end is at a standstill. As notoriously outrageous as it is, you hold the power with just a stroke of your pen. Eritrea strives to build a nation that treats its citizens equal and not a society where only a few can live a prosperous life. How many Western countries can claim that they do that? Where does that fall in the category of human rights? Is this not worth acknowledging? Is it not amazing that this small, young East African nation has managed to rely only on itself and its people and cut through barriers that you thought we could not do without your grip around us. We have and we will always continue to prevail. The only thing that Eritrea is guilty of is being a threat as a good example for other African countries. We preserve the right we preserve the right to continuously protect and preserve our sovereign nation. 42,000 testimonies were sent to the COI Commission from all over the globe, and this is factual. Another 800 individuals asked to present to you their testimonies in person, yet these undeniably large numbers somehow have been lost in the piles of your continuous mess. Your failures have been immeasurable, and although in reality we may not be able to do anything about it, in theory we would believe that you are hearing us. Have you never fought for your land? You will never understand why this is of the utmost importance to Eritrea and Eritreans all over the world. Finalize the border demar demarcation and the final and binding agreement that took place 13 years ago. We, the Eritrean youth in Europe, condemn the Ethiopian action of refusal of the final and binding decision made by the International Border Committee. We urge the LG's peace deal guarantors to compel Ethiopia to accept the International Border, Border Committee's decision. The Eritrean youth in Europe once again urge the Security Council to lift the sanctions 1907 and 2023 imposed on the Eritrean government and its people. The claims of the sanctions were ungrounded, biased, and uncorroborated. The Eritrean youth in Europe pushed for the United Nations to launch an independent and transparent investigation on human trafficking against Eritreans. You attack the things that we take most pride in. We are humbled by our different ethnicities. We celebrate each other, Muslims and Christians, and all of us together stand behind this nation that we proudly call our home. 
Sometimes history remains as history, although more often than none, history lives on in the present. Eritrea's history is still very much alive. It still echoes in our mountains. It is the name of our streets, and it is printed in our hearts for all eternity. Zalamu zafnin kubrin samatatna bitigmarna yidabashu.